<laughs> final topic today. Uh, I I told you I wanted to keep one of these a secret. We were trying to dig up what topic we wanted to do third. And uh, I was just like, I have it. I'm not telling you. So this is going to be an honest, visceral Carter Elliott reaction to this topic. He had no pre-planning. Sometimes he puts a lot of time and effort into his pre-planned responses. He has no time to pre-plan this. We're going to see an honest answer from Carter Elliott. Carter, you have a gun to your head right now. That's Who's not, that's not a gun? joke. It's a serious thing. Look up. Look at the window. You're in your office right now. There's a man with a gun pointed at you. In order for this man to not shoot you, you have to bet your life on one Big Ten program to be the next Big Ten program to win a national championship in college basketball. If you're right, you live. If you're wrong, the man shoots you in the head. Got gruesome there. Who is your bet to win a national championship next? Shoot it outside, shaking my little bitch right now. Um, hmm. Well, I could pick my team because my coach would die trying, or I could pick the team with players that are good. It's not. Uh, it's not this year, for the record. It's not just mm-hmm. like it's. It's next. So this could happen thirty years from now, or it could happen this year. Oh, I'm going to be short sighted in my in my uh, my pick here. I'm I'm going to say Purdue. Really? Yeah. Talk me through it. How how does it happen? When does it happen? Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer senior year. It happens. Wow. With like a little assist from Cannon Catchings and Cam Heidi being awesome. Miles Colvin on the team being awesome. Trey Kaufman, Ren's little brother. I don't know how old he is. Who's, who's starting at center? Danny Wolf. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll say, yeah, Purdue. So you're, you're putting your faith in the best coach in the Big Ten. That's what you're doing. Yeah. And and the best player currently. We think yeah. Trey Smith? Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Do you want my answer? I don't have anyone pointing a gun at me right now, though. Can I give you my second place answer? <laughs> sure. How much do you hate me sometimes? I love you. I really, you make it so easy. Like I just get to, I never have to give opinions. I just get to tee things up and you just go. It's the best. <laughs> uh, Indiana. It's a good answer. Indiana. Not with Woodson as coach. With Dusty May. Ooh. Yeah, that, that pulls at my heartstrings. That's a good answer. It's a good answer. Uh that was my answer. You just you stole my thunder. But yeah, I think uh this offseason right now is teaching me that I believe Indiana's bags are more valuable to winning in this era of college basketball than anything any other Big Ten program can provide. And I get unless Unless another Zach Eady walks through the door with Purdue, I don't think they'll actually get over the hump here. I like I think they'll be very good. I think they'll probably win the Big Ten. I won't be surprised at all if they make a Final Four. I'll probably pick them to make a Final Four. But I don't think they're going to actually win all six games unless he stumbles on a generational guy again. Um, it's hard. It's It's easier to buy generational guys than it is to like scout them when they're two stars and nobody else wants them. That's a once in a lifetime thing. So to me, like it's more likely Woodson just keeps buying good rosters, goes the Kansas route and gets there. The only other thing, like the only thing that gives me hesitation on picking Indiana is I think Illinois could do the same thing. And I think Illinois has a better coach than Indiana does. True. It's also a good chance that Illinois' coach might leave for Indiana. No, Brad wouldn't go to Indiana. Yeah, I know he wouldn't. I, I'm, I relax, Illinois fans. Relax. 
I like the Dusty May shot though, because I I think it could happen with Woodson, but I think it also could happen with whoever's next. Yeah, very true. And honestly, based on the way Dusty May is portaling right now, if you gave him Indiana's budget, I'd be terrified of what he would do. Oh, yeah, he'd have right now he'd have that same roster with probably John L is the point. It's crazy. Like it, it, it would be John L, Galloway, and Baco, Renu, Balo. And like Danny Wolf off the bench and Walters and, and Golden Ron, Ronnie Gale. <laughs> and Gabe Cups. Yeah. <laughs> Cardio Cups, still a winner. Uh okay. Final twist on this for me. Let's change it from programs to coaches, current coaches. Matt Painter, Tom Izzo, Brad Underwood, Greg Gard, Dusty May, Fran McCaffrey, Steve Peichel, Jake Diebler, everybody else I'm missing that I'm not going to name. Which coach currently head coaching in the Big Ten will be the next to win a national championship? Doesn't need to happen at their school could happen elsewhere. And just so that you can't just say painter, here's the twist on this. One of the options is also none of them win a national championship ever. So it's not just, you have to pick one and you wait. It's these guys could all end their careers without one. And if that's the right answer, then the person doesn't pull the trigger. Underwood. You think Underwood gets a national championship at some point in his career? Yes. Does it happen at Illinois? No. Ooh, do you want to say where it happens or no? No. Okay. Uh, I noticed you flipped your answer from Purdue, which has Painter. Does that mean you think in this exercise, Painter will never win a national championship? I think that hmm, this is not going to make friends with me, but I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and just say this. I think we might have seen Paints pinnacle mm. is like him getting there. I don't know if he'll ever reach the mountaintop. We've seen his Da Vinci. I, I, I just think he's, I just think he's classy. Oh Jesus! I think he's too classy. Uh, I think he's too classy to win a national title. Okay, but here's me going on record: Purdue's going to make more Final Fours under Matt Painter. If you make Final Fours, you always have chances at it. But if a gun's to my head, do I think Matt Painter will ever win a national championship? No, I do not. I think he'll make Final Fours, but I don't think he will win a national championship. There's a couple coaches I would pick to win a national championship before Paint currently in the Big Ten. Who? Underwood. Izzo. Izzo? In this era over Painter? You're going to get some pushback for that one. If he gets there, big if. <laughs> Huge if. I don't know if you know this. It's hard to get there. That's extremely – it's extremely hard to get there. Is is used to make it look easy in his defense, but it's hard to get there. Is wins them a title this season. In, is what? If Izzo was the coach in the national championship game, I think they win the national. I think they, they win the game. With Zach they, Eady subbing out at the thirty or the the seventeen minute mark of the first half every time. I think if you get him there in a single elimination, you get him there. Caleb first checking in two minutes into the game every game, really? Huh? Maybe it's, it's might be a character flaw of mine, but I feel that way. You trust. I, I I respect the belief. Um all right. Yeah. I if you ask me the same question, which you didn't, because you don't care about my answers ever. Uh I don't think Brad Underwood ever wins a title. I don't think Matt Painter ever wins a title. I don't think Tom Izzo wins another title. I think Mike Woodson could, which is crazy. I get it. Whoa. I, it's crazy. That's one of the crazier things I've ever uttered. I think he could. Uh, back to your answer the first time around, though, Cart. Your second answer. I think the coach that is most likely to win a national championship in the Big Ten in their career is Dusty May. And I don't think it will happen at Michigan. Will it happen at another Big Ten school? 
If it does, it's Indiana. But that's why, like, I get it's kind of a meme. I'm an Indiana fan this year because the better Mike Woodson is, the better chance there is Dusty will never go there, right? Like, Very true. So I got to root for those dudes. I uh, No, I think if Dusty does what I think I hope he can do at Michigan, I think he's either coaching at Indiana or Kentucky in five, six years. Yeah, I can see that. And if he is, right. like, then I then I think he's going to win titles at either one of those schools. I want you on that thought process. Fun exercise. Do you think Chris Collins will ever win a national championship? I think he'll be on Dusty's staff. What if Steve Peichel just wins a national championship this year? The Scataway is going up. Could happen. Uh, what? Okay, last twist on this. What's the worst possible coach that could win a national title? In the Big Ten? Yeah. I was going to say Fran McCaffrey instantly, but he can't. He can't win six games in March. He's not capable. My worst case scenario would be Willard cutting down the nets. I don't think Willard could either. I don't think he could, but I'm just saying, like, what's your what's your worst case? What's your, what's the worst case scenario for you? Oh, well, well yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Jake Jake, Jake, Jake Diebler, Jake Diebler winning a national title would infuriate me. Would it infuriate you more than Izzo winning one? Um, I mean, like, that's a hard question to answer because, like, obviously. I would rather Ohio State win a title than Michigan State. Like, I don't want to see Michigan State win a title. But I think, like, the the basketball fan in me can respect Izzo and his greatness closing the book more than mm. I could accept Jake Diebler stumbling his way to a national championship. Yeah, I, I'm. that would – how would we explain to – like, you have a daughter. How do you explain to your daughter that Jake Diebler cut down the nets? How do you look her in her eyes and explain oh, that? No, I figured the worst, the absolute worst. I'm sorry I didn't instantly think of this. It's that I try to wipe him out of my memory. The absolute worst is Greg Gard winning a national championship. Oh, no, I didn't even think about that. Yes, no, by far, 20 times out of 20, I would, I would do anything in my power to not let that happen. I would not be able to handle that straight no. up. Straight oh, wow, up. how do we forget about that? Good call. Yeah, Way I'm to glad, save that. I'm glad we don't think Ooh. about that. 